Hey, Dr. Ferguson coming to you from the Passion Camp. This message is going to go out to my Suboxone group and those are anybody who are dealing with an addiction that they're trying to come off of and they, they're going through treatment for that addiction. It's so important that while you're going through the treatment for your addiction that you make a decision as you approach the finish line that you're going to be finished. So many people are skeptical about approaching the finish line and wondering are they going to be able to do it, are they going to be able to stay clean, are they going to be able to stay off the alcohol, stay off the drugs, stay off the crack, are they going to be able to do it. So many people are skeptical if they're going to be able to do that. And the, the issue comes down to have you made a decision that you're done. Now I know that's easier said than done, easier, easier said than to actually do it, but part of your success is going to be you having made a decision that you're done. You know, I run a Suboxone program and I have lots of variations in the way a person approaches the finish line. And some people have their mind made up that regardless of what kind of illness they may suffer or what kind of chronic disease they may have, such as back pain or chronic pain somewhere, they're not going to do any more narcotics. I've had patients to undergo heart surgery. I've had patients to go under, undergo abdominal surgery. I've had patients that go undergo total mouth extractions. So I've had some patients undergo some things that could significantly be quite painful, but they do those things with a mind made up they're not going to do any more narcotics, and they don't. And then I've had other patients undergo the same things or simpler things, and they insist on going back on narcotics. They insist on having so much pain that they have to have some narcotics. And then the next thing comes, we've weaned them down off their narcotics almost to being done. And now that they're at the end of being done of the narcotics, something happens, they're in a car accident, etc., and they, they are having an issue of pain. And then they're back on their narcotics, and then it's very, very difficult at that point to get them down back off again. Because when do we flip back from their narcotics back to the Suboxone? That's always a big question. And so I would encourage all of you who are in Suboxone or any type of treatment for a substance abuse that you make up your mind that regardless of what happens, you're not going back on the narcotics. Because we do have lots of treatments that are out there that can be effective for a person that's having pain without going on to the narcotics. But the mindset many times of a person that's been addicted to narcotics is they have to have more narcotics. And not just some narcotics, but they have to have more and more and more. The mindset of somebody that has an addiction is always give me more. I need more, I need more, I need more. And that's a challenge. And so one of the challenges I have in my medical practice is when a person is almost near the finish line of Suboxone, they get an injury, now they legitimately have pain. How do we do it? Do we go back on narcotics? Do we do more Suboxone? Do we do non-steroidals? Do we do other things? That's a big question, and I encourage each of you who may be dealing with such an issue to really look in the mirror and say, am I going to go back on narcotics, or am I going to do what it takes not to do the narcotics and find other ways of treating my pain? If you have your mind made up and such as that, and you decided that you're going to find other ways to treat your pain other than going back on the narcotics, I'm sure your healthcare professional can help you do that. So I just encourage you because it, it's discouraging at times when some of my patients are doing so well on their Suboxone treatment and then they have an injury of some type and they just insist on going back on their narcotics and then they're, they're hooked again. They're, we're, we're in a challenge. We're back in a, a spiral going downhill. We're back into them telling stories to get more drugs, seeing the second doc so they can get additional drugs because they don't feel like you're getting, giving them enough. That's a challenge in life, and, and I'm not minimizing that challenge, but some of this challenge will be handled if you have a made-up mind. If you draw a line in the sand and you say, I am not doing narcotics regardless of what the issue. I am going to solve my pain issues with something other than narcotics. I don't want to become addicted again. It's ruined my life. It's ruined my finances. I don't have so many things I could have had without the drugs. My family doesn't have so many things they could have had without the drugs, and I'm not going to do it. If you take that kind of stand, I guarantee you your success rate will be much higher than if you don't. So on that note, Dr. Ferguson coming to you from the Passion Camp. Be blessed and have a wonderful Christmas and 
as you move into this new year. Have a wonderful and happy new year. Be blessed. Bye-bye.